Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our quiz problem here. So we're asked to solve this quadratic equation using completing the square. So if you haven't tried this problem, maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can do it. Okay, let's take a look at our solution here. Now remember, this is just a kind of a quiz problem, you know, um, so my solution is not going to be a full lesson. And this can be a little bit confusing, but, um, you know, if you're, if you're getting lost, you definitely want to go back and review and, um, you know, look at the subject, uh, you know, much deeper than what I'm going to get into here in a second. Okay, so remember, with a quadratic equation, there's a couple different approaches we can take or strategies we could take to solve this. In this particular problem, we're going to use the completing the square. Okay, so basically the first step is we have to make sure the equation is in standard form. Okay, and the coefficient or the number in front of the x squared term is 1. Okay, so at this point, this is, this is good. Okay, so the equation is kind of set up for us to start uh, the completing the square process, if you will. Now, the next thing you want to do is get the number term, okay, the constant, what they call, to the right-hand side of the equation. And that's what we're doing here. Okay, so I have x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. I'm going to add 12 to both sides such that I have an x squared and an x term on the left-hand side and my number on the right-hand side. Okay, so that's kind of like your first initial steps when we're doing uh, completing the square. So at this point, what we're going to go ahead and do is take a step such that we're going to create a uh, two perfect squares on either side of the equation. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is to take this center term here. Okay, once we have the equation written um, to this point, we have an x squared and x term on the left and a number. We're going to take that center term, or the x term. Okay, we're going to take its coefficient. In this case, it's four. Again, that's going to be, if you remember, let me just kind of go back up here, deviate for a second. Remember when we're solving the quadratic equation, this number here is our A, this number here is our B, and this number here is our C. Well, that's why we're calling this center term B. We're using that variable. Okay, so we're going to take that center coefficient, which is 4, and we're going to do B over 2 squared. So we're going to take that center um, number divided by 2 and squared. So in this case, it's pretty easy. So it's going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. So at this uh, moment, okay, this 4 that we kind of um, derived from this b over 2 squared, and this is part of the completing the square um, process, what we're going to do is take that 4, and we're going to add it to both sides of the equation. Okay, So we have x squared plus 4x. Now this is the 4 that we got using this b over 2 squared. Okay. Now the result of doing that is creating two perfect squares on either side of the equation. That's the whole obje objective. Remember, completing the square. Think about what that name sounds like, completing the square. In other words, let's make two perfect squares. Let's complete the equation such that there is two perfect squares. And, and by adding this 4 to both sides of the equation, that's what we've done. If you look at this, x squared plus 4x plus 4, we can factor that as a perfect square, okay? and that factors this way, x plus 2 times x plus 2, or x plus 2 squared. And then 12 plus 4 is 16, and of course, uh, that's a perfect square, that's 4 squared. Okay? And at this moment in time, solving this quadratic equation becomes pretty easy, because we can just simply just take the square root of both sides. So taking the square root of both sides of these perfect squares, we get x plus 2, right? The square root of x plus 2 squared is x plus 2. The square root of 16 is both a positive and negative 4, okay? And that sets up our two equations here, x plus 2 equals 4, or x plus 2 equals negative 4, and then we have our two solutions. Remember, with a quadratic equation, there's always two solutions. Okay, that was, you know, probably if you don't really understand completing the squares, that was rather quick, and you probably very well could likely be uh, still lost. So the thing to do is... Um, go back and review. Of course, if you got this right, you know, congratulations. It's, uh, you know, actually pretty challenging for a lot of algebra students to uh, do these completing the square problems, but uh, good job. Of course, if you want to take more math pop quizzes with me, jump on over to homeschoolmathquiz.com, especially if you're a homeschooler. Hope to see you there and have a great day.